How's it going everyone? Alex here from GoBrand Soccer. Welcome back to another day in the life video. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a full day of individual training, of eating, of my routine, and my free time, what I do. You know, I have work today, so I'm going to take you guys to work. And also a little pickup session, which I'm going to use my GoPro to film. I know it's been a while since I posted a day in the life video. I've been extremely busy with school, with work, with soccer, but I'm going to try my best to keep trying to push out content on YouTube. It's one of my goals to push out content at least once a week and really build up the subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Um, it means a lot to the channel, but let's hope um, I can continue this consistency with YouTube. Anyways, right now I'm about to go make breakfast. I just woke up about 30 minutes ago, so I'm about to go make a good breakfast. And then I'm going to spend a few hours working, doing some schoolwork, doing some business work and also reading my Bible a little bit because I need to do that. And then um, later did it, later today, I'll be going to work. But before I go to work, I'm gonna go a little bit earlier so I can go get an individual training session. So yeah, right now I'm gonna go make breakfast. Alright guys, so I'm just getting my stuff ready to head out now. I'm about to go get a good training session at the facility. Heading there a little early, like two hours before my first client. That way I can get enough time to warm up, to get a good training session, and then to cool down. And my goal for today is just to get tons and tons of touches, to really work on my ball mastery, to really work on my close control, maybe get some wall work in. And yeah, so hopefully today's session goes well, and I'll make sure to film it for you guys so you guys can see what I do. So I'll see you guys at the facility. All right, guys, so for today's training session, Player Makers sent me one of their Uno by Player Maker devices. It's one of their trackers that you would put on your shoe. And these little trackers track every single one of your touches, every single one of your metrics with the ball, like your, the speed of which you hit the ball, the speed of which you travel, the number of touches with each foot, and so many other different metrics that are so specific to the game. I have partnered with Uno to show you guys how I use their device to track my own training sessions and how I am able to improve with their metric specific data. All you need to do in order to use this device is to remove the trackers from their little boxing case, put them in the straps that correspond to the right foot, which is right and left, and then you just strap these babies on and they start tracking your session automatically. These can be used to track the number of touches you get during a training session or the number of possessions and passes you've had during a game. So these are really useful for any player. Alright guys, so I figured I'd do a small voiceover over my training session. This training session lasted for about an hour and the main focus was on close control dribbling at speed and I really wanted to focus on just getting thousands of touches, really focusing on maintaining control of the ball and dribbling quickly when turning. The training session was pretty much just based on one simple exercise and progress to make it more harder for myself. For the first drill I did, as you see on screen, it's a small triangle figure 8. The main focus of this really tight space dribbling drill is just to really focus on getting thousands of touches and to really focus on the way you touch the ball when turning and maintaining control when trying to go as fast as possible. This is the first drill in order to get warm. I like to start off with a very simple drill, very basic exercise to help my body get warm, to help my touches get sharp and then progress from there. To start off, I grabbed a size 5 ball and did 30 seconds on with the right foot, left foot, and both feet.
After doing a set with each foot and with both feet, I grabbed a size 3 ball and did the exact same drill. By using a smaller ball, you're really challenging your technique a lot more because you really have to focus on the precision of those touches and it just really challenges your technique a lot more by having to make sure you concentrate even harder on the way you caress the ball with each part of the foot. The next drill I did was the same exact drill as the tight space triangle drill, except this time I'm expanding the spaces, so I'm adding more space, but doing the exact same pattern. The progression for this drill forces you to have to take more elongated touches to really open your stride and to really take that ball to that next cone quickly and efficiently and then change direction quickly. So it really focuses on your change of pace and the way you turn with the ball. When performing these drills, I really try and emphasize adding a little body feint after I do a little turn. It just makes it a bit more game realistic because if you have someone pressuring you from your back and they're really pressing hard and you want to be able to turn into space, adding a little body feint to just throw them that little bit off to get that extra little bit of space to turn is so essential and so necessary at the higher level. And once again, I did a set with each foot. So I did one set with the right, one set with the left, and one set with both feet. After finishing those sets with the big ball, I once again grab the little small size 3 ball and do the exact same pattern, the exact same drill, um, with the exact same body paint and everything like that, except this time using the smaller ball, which challenges your touches so much more. When you want to get off the darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
the final progression of this drill, all I did was I threw some colored cones on top of the poles, even though I didn't end up using them. And then I set my phone with a few visual cues. So I assigned a number to each pole. For example, the blue pole would be number one, the red pole would be number uh, three, and then the orange pole would be number two. I originally was going to do this with colors, but I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more and challenge my decision making. So I added numbers instead of colors. So the goal for this drill is to react and make a decision as to where you can go and really focus on being creative with the ball, really trying to be free with the ball and not having any specific touches. Yes, you want to go around the poles, but you also want to be creative, adding tons of soul rolls, step overs, um, using every part of the foot to just get to that destination, carry the ball to that next spot, and then immediately move to the next cone. This just mimics in-game dribbling. When you're dribbling in a game, you never always looking down at the ball you're always having to scan having to pick up your head and you need the vision in order to know where you have to go next and carry the ball into that space so you can progress into the attack with your team so again i did about a set each foot so i did a set with my right a set with my left and then i did a few sets with both feet just because i kept messing up but of course you make mistakes because you're feeling challenged so if you do make mistakes don't feel bad i mean it's important to make mistakes if you're not making mistakes you're probably not working hard enough so I did a few, like, I, th I think I did like three sets with both feet just to make sure I um, was able to do it correctly. After I finished all my sets with the size 5 ball, I once again grabbed the size 3 ball and did the exact same drill, exact same thing, and it was a lot harder using the size 3 ball because when you have when you add a reaction or any sort of visual component to a drill, it already challenges your technique with a normal size 5 ball, but doing this with a size 3 ball really makes you have to focus and concentrate that a lot more on this drill. So again, I did about a set with the right, a set with the left, and then I finished off with a set with both feet. Alright guys, just finished my session, tracked my data, it's all on the app here, telling me, got tons of touches, um, lots of ball releases, um, mass, mass, max kicking velocity was, with my right foot, 72.9 kilometers per hour, and with my left foot, 64.8, so I finished off with some shooting, I just didn't record it because my camera's about to die, but yeah, I mean, it's an awesome device, the Uno by Playmaker, great way to track your data, great way to do it, I really like this device, and it's so socket specific, so, Looking forward to working with them and 
stay tuned for lots more posts with these on my Instagram and YouTube in the future. Anyways, right now I have about 15 minutes before my first client comes in. So I'm just gonna quickly stretch, eat some lunch, and then yeah, I mean, they're gonna be here. I have to coach for the next like three hours before my small group training session, which is like a little indoor pickup thing. So yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll see you guys after that, I guess. So here's my lunch. It's a turkey and cheese sandwich, and then I have some lentil soup. It doesn't look appetizing, you might think, but this is actually really good. It has lots of protein, good carbs, so good refill after a good workout. Yo, I'm still why aren't you getting open, bro? Fucking Abdul's standing there. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna get punched in the face. <laughs> he just punched you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Finally, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Turn. You got back. Play it all the way. Good. Seven. Yeah, man. Man on. Man on. Good. Yeah. Pull back. Excellent. One zero. Right. Yeah. Sam. Man on. Man on. Man on. Play back. Play back. Watch, 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 I got in. So, ooh. Oh, them cheeks is mine. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, just finished up my day here at work, just got a ton of training today, so lots of good tight space control when I first got here earlier today, good work in, um, and then after that obviously I had work, I had some good clients, so tons of fun with that, and then after that I had the small group training session, we only had like six people show up, so it wasn't too much, but at least we did manage to get a good solid hour, uh, hour of uh, 3v3, so it was a solid hour of footy, and I'm happy with that and I'm grateful for it, honestly, for this facility. Literally like under 17 degrees outside right now. So having this facility and being able to train in here is a great blessing. But right now I'm just about to pack up and I'm about to head home. And then we'll see what, I, what I'm up to when I get home. So I'll see you guys then. All right, so I'm home. Here's my dinner. It's just a monster salad. Some pita bread and an apple. So I'm just going to gobble this down. I eat this, um, I'm gonna refuel, then I'm gonna head to my room, probably do some work, probably chill out for a bit, and yeah, you know, I mean, I'm home, done, after a full day of training and eating, I'm trying to relax, and if I have time, maybe do some extra work as well, but yeah, I'm just gonna eat this, and I'll catch you guys after. Alright guys, so I did not film my night last night, I kind of forgot to, I kind of stayed up on a call with a friend, 
so I forgot to record what I was doing. But pretty much all I did last night was I watched a little bit of the Real Madrid game I missed due to work, and then I did a little bit of formal and stretching, and then I just FaceTimed a friend for a bit. So nothing serious. I mean, I spent most of the day yesterday editing and doing lots of training and working. So it's a day full of um, just a bunch of um, work and getting home to relax. I mean, I mean that's to me one of the best forms of just loving yourself you know giving yourself that hour to rest giving yourself that hour to enjoy your time and not to stress over too much work so right now i mean just editing up this video now thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this day in the life video please leave a like and subscribe it'll help the channel grow and let's try and reach a goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year that'd be an amazing milestone for me so hopefully i can continue to post weeklies for you guys to enjoy some content thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out but you know I never will, no So I choke